almost late now for my for my lesson. I might have to step it up gear. Let's go. Whoa, here we go. Not breaking the speed limit either. Ooh, horses. See you later. Right, so, Saturday morning, and I'm a cyclist. I'm just on my way to my first lesson of the day. And it's kind of local, so I don't, I don't mind. Most of the time on Saturdays I teach at home, but if people are local, I don't mind travelling, especially on a day like today. I was doing an online stream last night and someone said to me, I'm stuck in a rut with my guitar playing. It doesn't happen to me that often because I'm forever having to learn new stuff for students, you know, or gigs or whatever. If I'm working with different people, I have to push myself in different directions to achieve what we're trying to achieve. If we're trying to write a piece or... And that keeps, that keeps you away from being stuck in a rut. However, if you're not actively out playing in a band or with other musicians, can be kind of tricky especially when you get into a routine of going on YouTube and looking at the same old stuff it's very easy to get stuck in a rut so my advice was to find inspiration whether it be listening to stuff that you've never listened to before going out to gigs find find out you know where there's a local music scene an open mic night. Go to a big gig, into a big venue. Um, it's just a different experience of seeing music. Teach someone. If you have a friend that doesn't play guitar or wants to play guitar and you know just even if you've been playing for like a few weeks or something and you've picked something up teach your friend teach your sister your brother your parents whatever and that will inspire you to go on and do different things some people don't have a problem with inspiration <clears throat> but they get stuck playing the guitar in the same old routine And the best way to get away from that, get out of that routine, that I find for me personally, if I go off and I practice my scales, I don't know, diminished scales, or your major modes, or practicing your major and minor pentatonics with, through different keys and backing tracks, just do a bit of training, arpeggios. Just train yourself to do something new on the guitar. Maybe even like a bit of jazz. Uh, uh, that's baby making music, that's what that is. Uh, why not try, you know, a little jazz lick or something like that? You might find it's really cool and you might be playing death metal or something, but you can kind of use the techniques you learn into playing what you're playing, to, into your own creativity. So this is the best way of getting away from that being stuck in a rut. 
Nowadays it's so easy to just be locked into your phone and going, yeah, yeah, scroll, 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 scroll. And you know, but when you actually physically meet up with your friends and say, have you checked this out? You know, check it out on my playlist or whatever. It's cool. And you're gonna find some really interesting stuff and then you're, gonna, you're also gonna find a lot of stuff that you don't like. And what I'll say about that is, the first time I listened to Alice in Chains, I was just like, yeah, they're okay. But everyone was going on about them. So I had the tape in my car. Whenever I drive anywhere, I played that Alice in Chains. And you know what? After two or three lessons, I was just like, I get this. I really get this. And they ended up one of my favorite bands in the whole world. And, um, you know, and I've introduced them to other people. And then, you know, my friends say, oh, you introduced us to this band and we absolutely love them. They're one of our favorite bands. That's how music works, guys. That's how inspiring works. You get to inspire as well as be inspired. So, get inspired and it will get you out of a rut. Whether you're learning new scales, new arpeggios, new riffs, there's so much out there for you guys to learn. There's no excuse to be stuck in a rut. No excuse. And look at it like that, okay? Sometimes I think it boils down to mood. Yeah, you get caught in this loop doing the same thing. Mix it up. Change your strings, put a fresh set of strings on your guitar. Play in the garden, play in the local park, play in the street. You know, your environment has a lot to do with it as well. So I'm forever, you know, especially when the weather's nice, I'm forever taking the guitar outside. And the guitar sounds different outside, it sounds nice. So I hope that helps. And that's just a little 10 minute tip. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, maybe I'll do a little tips video. This is kind of just like a vlog, I guess. You know, hopefully this is a bit more interesting than your average dude sat in his bedroom going, Hey man, this week I was gaming and uh, whatever. Okay. And here I am, and this is the type of places I get to work. How nice is this? And this is supposed to be work. It's not really work. Playing the guitar, man. Anyway, catch you next time. Thank you.